And in this video, we are going to continue in Chapter 2 in Service Pack 4 by looking at Microsoft Works Word Processor. Previous videos, we looked at the Microsoft Works Task Launcher and looked at the different programs and tasks available to you when you open the Microsoft Works 9 Task Launcher. And today, we're going to be looking at the Microsoft Works Word Processor. So go ahead and open it up. And Microsoft Works Word Task Launcher should look like this if you do not, if you have your um, visual effect on, it's going to look a little different with the windowing, but this is the actual look of Microsoft Works Word Processor. And though it is a simple processor and not as advanced as Microsoft Word, it has all the features and tools necessary and that are essential for you to create letters, resumes, uh, all kinds of things that you need. And of course, if you do need some templates, you also have plenty of those at your fingertips. And if you go to Programs, Word Processor, you have all these templates you can choose from so that you can easily create whatever you need to create. But in this video, we just want to look around at Microsoft Works Word Processor. So let's go ahead and go back to it. And we see here, um, we have some options here. We have the standard uh, file, edit view, insert buttons, format, and all the tools you would basically see in a word processor. Here we have some tools here, this new button, and so forth. I'm going to open up an actual uh, document so that we'll actually have something to look at. Let's open up a letter. Um, no, let's go back. I want to do something different. It's a resume here. Okay, so here's something. So let's go back to looking at these things. I just want to have something to actually look at, look at instead of just a blank document. So we have some buttons here, the new button, the open button. All of these buttons you should be familiar with um, if you've been using Microsoft Word or another um, Office Suite or Word Processor. And we have some um, formatting tools here. If you wanted to indent, we can with these indenting tools. We have some outline buttons and some alignment adjustment buttons here. Here we have the font here. If you want to go ahead and do that. You can also go to tools and options. You can go ahead and change various options here. Not too many options, but just enough to uh, do the right formatting. You have some format tools here. Insert. You can insert pictures and make a water mark text boxes and you can even insert a spreadsheet document from spreadsheet which we'll be looking at that in the next video. In the previous video we looked at this uh, ruler here. I said that if you go to view ruler you can hide or show that ruler as well as the status bar which is this bar down here. And we can go and hide and show that if we choose to. Let's look over here now. We mentioned in the last videos that there's a built-in live search here. So if we were to type in something like letters and we hit enter, this is going to take us straight to the internet. This is the built-in live search. And we see some stuff here letters so forth. This is all coming from the live search. Close that and type in type in Microsoft Office if you want and it's take us to whatever we need. 
and we see the new Microsoft search here and this is you can quickly get access to whatever you want to find on the web quickly by typing it in here and searching for whatever reason you might want to do this you can also move this around change it around move it to any place you want if you want it change it we have the task pane here you can also go to view and hide task pane if you if you so desire in here in the task pane we have recent documents we haven't saved anything so it doesn't give us any list of recent documents we have browse documents so we can go ahead and find documents if we want browse templates we looked at this before and depending on the program we're using in Microsoft works it'll take us to a uh, bunch of templates so since we're using Microsoft works word processor it gives us a bunch of templates for Microsoft works word processor new document and some tips here so Microsoft works word processor is a very straightforward um, word processor um, I really can't say anything else about it it's just really simple it has all the features you need in order to make resumes and all of these things here like these cover letters all of these things here all of these you can make uh, make by hand if you are an uh, experienced user with the Microsoft Works word process you can go ahead and do all of this stuff and just Add all of these, all of the information in these placeholders here. And um, if you want to save it, go ahead and save it. You can save it as works, works document, works template, rich text, text file, HTML, or even Microsoft Word documents. So you have various options here. And so this is basically it for Microsoft Word works word processor very straightforward a very easy to use word processor and um, if you are if all you're gonna do is do papers resumes letters and stuff like that you this is a very uh, decent uh, word processor to do all of those things very easy and quick and without all the uh, uh, all the I should say difficulties that some people might experience with Microsoft Word if they're not an advanced user. So this is it. We just wanted to take a nice look at Microsoft Works Word Processor. In the next video, we'll be looking at Spreadsheet and taking a look around at that. It too is a very straightforward spreadsheet uh, application from the Microsoft Works 9 suite. So we'll be looking at that in the next video. That's it for this video.